Hey guys, happy Monday, happy May. I cannot believe that May is here already. It feels like just yesterday, it was January, and somehow the months and the weeks are flying by, which I thought the opposite would happen. I thought they'd be dragging on since we're stuck indoors, but I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but I feel like it is flying by. So as promised, I'm showing you guys my everyday makeup routine that I do every day in normal life. Now I wear makeup like once a week, but I still wanted to show you guys what I do, how I get ready. So this is it, and if you want to know how to get this makeup look, keep watching. My favorite primer ever is Dior's Backstage Face and Body Primer. So I don't get a ton, I just get a little bit. Some people don't like to do it this way, some people use brush. I just use my hands, which might not be the best, but. No matter what I do, my face never tans, and for that reason, I never match my shades of concealer and foundation directly to the shade of my face, so it's going to be a bit darker and look a little off. Also, I've been ordering products online, and I just don't know what color I am. I've been trying new products, and I don't know what color I am. So I'm going to be using Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in shade Porcelain. What I do, I go under my eyes and outward, and then I go along the side of my nose. And then I just fill that in and go kind of to the top of my cheekbone. And it's hard to, I just, I don't know what shade I am right now. We obviously can't go in store, so this might not be my exact shade. I also go down my nose and then up. I draw a couple lines on my forehead and the brush I use for foundation and concealer is the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush. And then the way that I blend, it's kind of a mix of stipling and then blending in a circular motion, if that makes sense. And then I will use my Beauty Blender. I already washed this so it's damp. And just pat through that again so it just looks super natural. Because I feel like with that brush from Sephora, it definitely makes it look a little bit thicker. And this is just going to even it out and make it lighter. So I'm not going to be using foundation today. I'm just going to be using my concealer kind of as a foundation. And with any excess that I had, I just kind of blended that into my skin. So it's super light. But because we all love foundation and it is great and wonderful, the foundations that I love are Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation. The shade isn't on here. It's blank. I don't know. I also love Too Faced Born This Way in shade Warm Beige. After concealer, I use Iconic London's Illuminator, and this is shade Original. I have every single shade, and I love every single one of them. And I'm going to use the dropper to just apply it directly to my face at the tops of my cheekbones. And I'll apply it with my Beauty Blender. Slightly dab it into my skin. My favorite setting powder is from Hourglass. It is Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So I just use whatever's in there. I might even use less than that. And then lightly dust all over my face and then blend it in. But I love this powder because it makes your face less sticky, but it doesn't take the glow away. I feel like most powders really matte your face down, and this doesn't do that. And for blush, I use Tarte's Amazonian Clay 12-hour brush in shade Peaceful. I just get a little bit onto the brush, and then I will kind of do a little swoop on the apples of my cheek, and then come down towards my nose to kind of blend it out. Dino always laughs at me, he's like, why are you smiling at yourself applying makeup? And I'm like, that's how you apply blush, so you can see the apples of your cheeks. And sometimes I go a little crazy with the blush, and if you do that, it's easy just to tap your beauty blender over it and make it a little less clowny. Another thing I love to do with blush is I'll get a tiny bit more, and I will go over the bridge of my nose back and forth a couple times. And it's super subtle. It just gives you a nice little sun-kissed look. Like you've been in the sun all day, and then you've been indoors all day. And I never wear eyeshadow, but I figure today, why not live a little? If I do, I stick to very neutral colors because that's best with my eye color. And this is Wander Beauty's Wanderous Off-Duty Eyeshadow Palette. Very pretty. And I'll be using Shoreline, just 
get a tiny bit on your brush. And I like to start in the middle, work my way out. And then go up towards my eyebrow. Next is mascara, and I love this eyelash curler. It is from, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, Shishido, maybe? But it's one of the best eyelash curlers I've found. With other ones, I feel like, and I used to really cheap out and get like a $3 eyelash curler, so that's probably why. But with this one, after two or three curls, or two or three squeezes, um, I notice a huge difference. And with other ones, those cheap ones, I really have to like, do it for a while. And I love Tarte mascaras. Today I'm using Tarte's Light Camera Lashes and I'll link two other Tarte mascaras that I love and switch between as well. One of them is Man Eater and the other is Big Ego, I think. And my secret for mascara, I like to go towards my nose and make sure all my lashes are pointing in the same direction and then I will have them all go the opposite direction and then go up so you're really getting all the length and volume that you can next up are the brows and I have two brow pencils that I love from benefit oh they're the same I get asked about my brows all the time if they're microbladed they are I haven't gotten them done in like a year so I don't know what's left but I did get them done and I loved it but I can tell that I definitely need to get them filled. I definitely, definitely recommend getting it done if you have someone that you trust. So I'm using Benefit's Precisely My Brow Pencil, and I love this because on one end it has this little spoolie, so I will go up on the inside of my eyebrows and then have the rest going out. And this shade is 4.5, which is probably a little bit dark for me. So what I do is the inside of my eyebrows, where you see it's more sparse, Probably like the first inch, I don't touch any of that. And after that inch is where I start, I use super small short strokes and a very, very light hand. So it almost would feel like you're not really applying any product, but you are. And I will go under that eyebrow line or over top of it using those short strokes and then I'll work my way up. fully through it and just fill in any pieces that I missed. It's so hard to see so I might look crazy. I haven't really been wearing lipstick lately either but I love Summer Friday's Butter Balm. It's great at hydrating but also gives you a little bit of gloss. And as my final step I will set my makeup and I love Hourglass's Soft Focus Setting Spray or if I know I'll be in the sun, I'll use Kate Somerville's makeup setting spray that has an SPF of 50, but I'll be indoors today. And the mister is just so gentle on this. That's why one of the reasons I love it. And it just sets your makeup all day, gives you a nice little glow. So that is it. That is my quick everyday natural makeup look. It makes getting ready very easy. And if I miss anything or you still have questions, comment below, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and I always love seeing what ideas you have for videos, I write them down, I take them into account, and next week I am planning on doing what I eat in a day, talking about nutrition, working out, and fun things like that. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next week.